Imagine a serene pond still and quiet. On its surface, you see a beautiful radiant lotus flower in full bloom, its delicate petals opening wide, basking in the gentle sunlight. Yet beneath the surface, there's murky, dark mud, a place that doesn't seem capable of nurturing such a beautiful flower. But that's where the lotus grows and it finds its strength. Life can be a lot like that pond. Sometimes it feels like we're trapped in the mud, struggling through challenges, pain, and confusion. Yet just like the lotus, we can rise above and bloom. But how? How do we turn our hardships into something beautiful? How do we find strength in moments of weakness, peace in chaos, and purpose in pain? In today's story, we'll explore the powerful metaphor of the lotus flower rooted in Buddhist wisdom. We'll discover how this simple yet profound symbol can teach us to embrace our struggles, find inner strength, and transform our lives. We invite you to relax, take a deep breath, and join us on this journey of resilience and growth. The lotus is one of the most significant symbols in Buddhism, and its meaning goes beyond just beauty. It represents purity, enlightenment, and the ability to rise above the murkiness of life. In Buddhist teachings, the lotus grows in muddy water, yet it emerges clean and pure, unstained by the dirt around it. This is a powerful analogy for the human spirit. Just as the lotus is rooted in the mud but reaches toward the sky, we too are often faced with difficult situations that can make us feel stuck or overwhelmed. These struggles, whether they are emotional, mental or physical, are like the mud. They make us uncomfortable, they weigh us down, but they are also the very conditions that can help us grow. Without the mud, the lotus would never bloom. The lotus flower's journey is a reminder that beauty can come from the darkest places and that there is hope and resilience within us all. It tells us that no matter how tough life gets, there is always the potential to rise, emerge stronger and bloom. Let's talk about the mud for a moment. In life, the mud represents adversity, the struggles, pain and setbacks we all face. For some, it might be a tough job, financial issues or a broken relationship. For others, it might be anxiety, depression or feelings of inadequacy. No matter what form it takes, the mud is something we all have to navigate. But why does life have to be this way? Why can't things just be smooth and easy? Buddhism teaches us that suffering is an inevitable part of life. It's not something to be feared or avoided, but something to be understood and embraced. It's through facing these struggles that we learn, grow and find deeper meaning. Imagine a lotus growing. It doesn't fight against the mud. It uses the mud as a source of nutrients, something that helps it grow. In the same way, our challenges can be the very things that help us become stronger, wiser and more compassionate. The key is not to resist, but to accept, to find the lessons hidden within the hardship and to allow them to shape us. Our story begins in a small village nestled near a calm and tranquil lake. There lived a monk named Ananda, known for his serene demeanor and warm, comforting smile. Yet behind his peaceful exterior, Ananda was struggling. Despite his calm nature, he was facing a period of inner turmoil. The pressures of life, the endless stream of worries and anxieties, weighed heavily on his heart. One day, Ananda sat by the edge of the lake, watching the sunset over the still water. His mind was restless, full of unanswered questions. He wondered, why is life so difficult? Why do we have to suffer? Lost in thought, he noticed something. A single lotus flower, blooming in the middle of the lake, standing tall and pure above the water's surface. Ananda was captivated by the flower's beauty, but he was also puzzled. How could something so delicate and lovely emerge from such murky, dark water? At that moment, he felt a sense of calm wash over him, and he decided to find out more. Over the following days, he observed the lotus closely, watching how it opened its petals each morning and closed them each night. He realized something profound the lotus did not avoid the mud. It didn't complain about the darkness or wish for clearer waters. Instead, it accepted its environment and used it as a foundation to grow. The more he watched, the more he understood that the lotus's beauty was not despite the mud but because of it. Ananda began to see his struggles in a new light. 
he realized that his anxieties, fears, and doubts were not barriers to his peace, but opportunities for growth. The mud wasn't something to be feared or hated, it was something to be embraced. Each time he felt overwhelmed by his thoughts, he would return to the lake and remind himself of the lotus. Gradually, he began to find peace in the chaos, strength in his weakness, and clarity in his confusion. Through his reflection, Ananda learned to see his suffering as a necessary part of his journey. He understood that just like the lotus, we all can rise above our circumstances, turn our struggles into strengths and bloom despite the odds. This realization transformed his life and he dedicated himself to teaching others the lessons he had learned. The story of Ananda and the lotus carries several powerful lessons. First, it teaches us that life's challenges are not meant to break us, but to help us grow. The mud or the struggles we face is a natural part of life, and it is through these struggles that we find our strength. Secondly, the lotus reminds us of the importance of patience. Just as the flower doesn't bloom overnight, personal growth takes time. It's a slow, gradual process, and there will be moments when we feel like giving up. But if we stay patient and keep pushing through the mud, we'll eventually see the light. Lastly, the lotus symbolizes purity and resilience. No matter how dirty the water, the flower remains clean and bright. Similarly, we have the ability to remain untainted by our difficulties and to find clarity and peace even when everything around us seems chaotic. So how can we apply these lessons in our own lives? Start by accepting the mud. Understand that it's okay to feel sad, anxious, or lost. These emotions don't make you weak. They're part of being human. Instead of running away from them, sit with them, learn from them, and see how they can guide you toward growth. To help you bloom like the lotus, here are some practical tips inspired by Buddhist teachings. Number one, mindful meditation. Spend a few minutes each day in meditation. Focus on your breath, let your thoughts flow and observe them without judgment. This practice can help you find clarity amidst the chaos. Number two, embrace your emotions. Don't shy away from your feelings, no matter how uncomfortable they are. Accept them, sit with them, and allow yourself to experience them fully. This will help you understand your inner self better. Number three, journaling. Write down your thoughts, fears, and struggles. Putting your emotions on paper can help you process them and find peace. Number four, practice gratitude. Even in the darkest times, there's always something to be grateful for. Reflect on the positives in your life, no matter how small they may be. Number five, seek support. You don't have to go through the mud alone. Reach out to friends, family, or a therapist who can provide support and guidance. The lotus in the mud is a timeless metaphor, one that teaches us to find beauty in the struggle and strength in adversity. Life will never be without challenges, but it's how we choose to face those challenges that define who we are. Remember that the mud is not your enemy. It's your teacher, your guide, and your foundation. Every difficult moment, every painful experience is an opportunity to grow, to become stronger, and to rise above. Just like the lotus, you have the power to bloom no matter where you are planted. So, when life feels overwhelming, think of the lotus. Remind yourself that even in the darkest, muddiest waters, you can find the light. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you found peace and strength in this story, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. Together, let's spread the message of resilience, growth, and hope.